Man United have hired, well, according to sources and according to a lot of news you've heard, have now hired uh, Ruben Amarim as their new coach. And Amarim coming to Man United into a club of turmoil is pretty much something he's done in his career. And I'm going to go back to 2018 because some people may not remember this, but this was when around, excuse me, looking at my notes, 50 fans came in, attacked them. Some had uh, masks on. Security guard couldn't handle them. They attacked players, including coaches, staff, beat them with belts, fists and sticks. Bass Dost, I'm not sure if you remember this, scored 34 goals that season. Had a cut really bad in his head. It got so bad that Rui Particio, William Carvalho, Gelson Martins, even Rafael Leal, they all terminated their contracts and left. Uh, they left Sport in Lisbon, and that club was in turmoil for a while. So two years later, uh, 2020, they hire Ruben Amarim, and he turns that title around. If you look at Manchester United, they're another club in turmoil who, since 2013, have not won a title. They've been floundering. Some top four finishes here and there. Recently just fired Eric Ten Hag, who was, you know, had to go. But Man United and Sport are two different kettles of fish. No offense to the Portuguese league. The Portuguese league is, you know, for Ruben Amarim, he's a big fish in a small pond. And this is a league where the two main teams are Porto and Benfica, but he's really turned the tide around around for Sporting to the point that this team is now competing week in and week out with the bigger teams. And they are doing it with their academy. And there's another point for Ruben Amarim, because we're going to get into that later, but 87 years ago today, May United had featured an academy player in their match day squad and every match day squad since for 87 years is featuring the academy product and that is just a beautiful thing about united's academy now what does that have to do with ruben Amrim? well apparently he's featured 25 academy players in his reign so far at sports and that's just a wonderful thing because this current iteration of the main united academy has so much talent so much talent brewing everywhere and i want this coach to platform this this team you know platform the best players that you can from the academy Look what Barcelona's doing with their academy. So for me, I'm cautiously optimistic about Ruben Amaro. I'm cautiously optimistic about where he's going to take this team because he does have the talent. That 3-4-3, it's, you know, a little bit of concern for me, but it's a good change. You know, United need to move away from the Ferguson way or the United way, as they call it. But the United way really is just the way Sir Alex Ferguson had this team playing for 26 years. United need a new change of direction. They need a new change of just fresh air in the building. So we can compare Eric Ten Hag and Ruben Amarim, you know, two guys who were big fish in a small pond. Eric Ten Hag took his team, you know, Ajax, all the way to a Champions League semifinal. And, you know, for me, the big issue with Eric Ten Hag, he does not have riz or charisma. The kids call it riz. But he doesn't have that gravitas. And that's part of the reason why he didn't get the Tottenham job. You know, apparently he could not really articulate the way he wanted to talk properly. Even when he spoke Dutch, they made fun of the way he spoke his Dutch. So he had an issue with clearly communicating his ideas. On the other hand, you have Ruben Aaron, whose whole entire thing is he's a very well-known communicator. That's his thing. When they beat Nassi and Al a few days ago, the coach said that one of his superpowers is clear communication. And that is a wonderful thing to have in the coach. You look at any single sport, you need a coach who can clearly articulate his ideas to his players, how you can take it from the training ground to the pitch, and how do you turn your players around, their forms, their fortune, all of that. That's what made Sir Alex Ferguson so great. He knew how to communicate to his players. He knew what to say, when to say. Same thing with Wenger, same with Mourinho, even Jurgen Klopp. When he came to the Premier League, he struggled a little bit, but he knew how to communicate and get his ideas out. Also, same thing with Pep Guardiola. Same thing with any single coach in any single sport. You have to know how to clearly communicate. And obviously, there's other things as well. You have to have the right plays, the right ingredients. That all comes hand in hand. But you need your coach to communicate. And that's the thing I'm excited about with Ruben Emerson. He's going to be the youngest ever coach to coach Man United at 39 years old. But he's coming from a different generation than previous coaches that United have had. David Moyes came from a different era, and he wasn't really ready to take over Sir Alex Ferguson immediately. That was not good for him. Louis Van Howe. Passed his sell by date. Jose Mourinho passed his sell by date. Thank you for the Europa League, though, Jose, and the FA Cup, Louis. Then you take a look at Oli. His heart was there, but it really didn't go well. Again, it goes down to the Glazers and the board. They made too many terrible decisions as far as players. It just didn't work itself out. Eric Ten Hag got the players he wanted, but he cannot communicate his ideas. Now United have a new whole entire sporting board, and they have to now work hand-in-hand -hand with Ruben Emerson. Can you get the players that he needs? Can you get the wing backs he needs? Can you get the midfielders he needs? Can you get the tens slash the interior wings that he needs? So that's where I'm cautious for him is that can United really 
do what he needs for the right players? Can he get the right ingredients? Because coaching in Portugal is one thing. Coaching in England is a whole different kettle of fish, especially when you're Manchester United manager because that is a beast. There's a different story about Man United each week. Just last week, we are talking about Man United players getting on the plane to the Ballon d'Or. Why is that a big deal? Who knows? But there's always a story about this club. There's always something going on. And that pressure, in addition to the fan base, is going to be something new for Ruben Amram. Someone tweeted, let's look at his hairline a year from now. And that's another thing, too. How many grades is he going to have? How far does his hairline go back? Because this job is stressful. This job is very, very stressful. But I'm excited for him. I'm excited that he gets this opportunity because... Who doesn't want to turn Manchester United club around? You know, it's a challenge that the very best want to do. They want to restore this team back to his past glories. And he's done that with sport. And he's restored his team to a, to a glorious state. So can he come to Manchester and do it? I'm cautiously optimistic. I don't want to do the breakdown of tactics. I don't want to get too excited because United fans, we've done this for the last 11 years with each manager. We've tried to be optimistic. But now it's sort of... Can you prove to us that you are the man that you say that you are? Can you show us that you are the man that your tactics show and the, the reason why you're one of the young promising managers in the world, Ruben Amarin? And don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest person who watches all, his, all the Portuguese league matches, but I do remember distinctly when they played against Atalanta. I was very, very cautious about the way that they were getting exposed and the way they were struggling against Gasparini's side, which, by the way, they ended up winning Europa League. That's a really brilliant side nonetheless, but... There was that sort of concern for me. I was like, whoa, I'm not really too sure if I'm feeling the way this team is spaced out. So can he adapt to the Premier League? Can he bring his charisma? Can he show that he's the man? Can he show he has cojones? These are the questions that I have for Ruben Amarin. I'm very excited for him, though. Like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think it will work itself out. If you saw, you know, United have a very talented squad. It's just about getting these players and platform and putting them in the right position for them to win and for them to thrive. So there are there is some talent. There obviously is players that need to get out the squad. But I do think that when you look at the squad, I'm excited to see how he does well with Rasmus, how he does well with Xerxes, how he does well with Euro. Can he make Rashford come back to being the player that he was? Can Garnacho find himself and like really take his talent to another level? Can Ahmad really kick on from here? How about Bruno Fernandez? How about Lissandro Martinez, Andre Onana? Is he going to take it to another level? He's been really good this season, by the way. What about Ugate? Can Ugate come back to the sporting play he was under Amarin? So these are the questions that we have. And with due time, we're going to get our answer. But the one thing I want from Amarin, bring back the menswear. I see him in his Nike Air Forces and his sweaters. Adidas, give him some Anthony Edwards shoes. Give him some uh, Sambas. Give him some Bad Bunny shoes. Adidas, you got some, you got some stuff, so send him over some stuff. But overall, it's exciting times for Man United because it's a breath of fresh air. And it's always, you know, cop, it's always nice to have optimism. So, Ruben Amram, I'm excited for you. And this is a man, again, like, go back to this thing that he's done. When he, when he finished coaching and, you know, when he finished playing at 32 years old, he went to go get a degree at the University of Windsor where he did a mind and physical movement degree. And he also did a little internship with Jose Mourinho. This is also a man who played at the World Cup, you know, 2010 and 2014 World Cup. So he's even played against Man United. So he knows how it is to play at Old Trafford, but coaching at Old Trafford and trying to bring this club up is a whole new, you know, bunch of problems for him. But they're bringing in some of his old coaches, bringing some of his staff. So... We're going to see how it's going to turn out, but I'm cautiously optimistic. So Ruben Emrim, I wish you well because you're going to need it.